If Apple had awe dropping, Splunk slash Cisco had jaw dropping. Because what they unveiled at Conf 25 isn't another dashboard. It's actually a new operating model for the Security Operations Center, aka SOC. Humans plus AI agents working side by side on machine data at insane scale. Cisco CPO Jitu Patel framed it simply. Phase 1 was chatbots answering questions. Phase 2 is agents doing jobs continuously, autonomously, cross to. That flips security from hunt and hope to detect, decide and remediate. Jitu called out the blockers, infrastructure constraint, which is power slash compute slash network, trust deficit, no end-to-end -end visibility or guardrails, data gap, we trained on human text, not on the telemetry that actually runs the world. Conf25 is Cisco plus Plunk's playbook to smash trust deficit and data gap and prepare for infrastructure constraint. Splunk Enterprise Security, ES, 8.2 splits into two tracks. ES Essentials, on-ramp with AI Assistant, Detection Studio, and Agentic Workflows, which is triage, reverse malware, build, soar playbooks. SOPs can be baked into agents via multimodal models. Even SPINs, Upper WebEx, War Room, on incident triggers. ES Premium, which is Essentials plus SOAR plus UEBA, which is the User and Entity Behavior Analytics for the full unified stack. This is not yet another feature drop. It's Splunk turning ES into an agent platform that follows your runbooks in your environment. Meet AI Canvas, now embedded in Splunk. It's a live collaborative surface where analysts and agents go investigate. Natural language asks correlate logins at 9 pm with outbound traffic. Auto generated SPL, tiles, timelines, and next best action one click escalation to experts and auto written incident reports. It's actually the first securities operation center user interface that feels like modern multiplayer creation software. Last year, we got federated search for S3. This year, federation expands. Snowflake business data. Query directly from Splunk. February is the ship window. Azure data sources next. Cisco telemetry piped natively and a wallet-friendly win. Cisco Firewall logs ingest to Splunk for free for all anal analysis, lowering the TCO of seeing everything. The big swing, Cisco Data Fabric plus Machine Data Lake plus a time series foundation model, open weights, shipping in November. The translation to all of this, take your logs slash metrics slash traces, which is the time series, train slash tune the model on your telemetry and build your own machine GPT-2. Detect the undetectable, micro anomalies with butterfly effect impact. Autonomously react, rate limit, reroute, isolate, prevent repeats. Policy, config, capacity changes, suggested slash, proposed. This squarely targets the data gap. Models that natively speak machine time series and natural language. Multilingual AI, human plus machine. Isovalent runtime security. Kernel level visibility across workloads to spot leaks slash irregularities instantly. Cisco Securities Analytics Logging, 
Splunk Cloud Federated Search S3 Query Firewall Logs Where They Live No Heavy Ingest Pipeline The strategy makes Cisco controls feel native inside Splunk Keep data in place, more analytics and agents to it Meantime, to no collapses, agents correlate identity, network, EDR, cloud and app signals. Then propose actions with rationale. Runbooks become software. SOPs aren't PDFs. They're actually policy the agents execute. Human bandwidth multiplies. An analyst steers strategy. Agents grind the toil. Governance is built in. Cisco's AI defense gives model validation, guardrails, and runtime enforcement across whatever model you use. Competitors, Datadog, Dynatrace, New Relic, etc., will actually counter with their agent stories. The differentiator here is Splunk's machine data gravity plus Cisco's network slash endpoint slash runtime footprint observability plus security on one fabric. And to talk about everything that happened at Conf25, we have Supreet Kondinya, AIM tech journalist, joining us from Boston. So, Supreet, just wanted to check what's happening on the other side of the world. The central theme of Cisco and Splunk's Conf 2025 event this year was all about agentic observability. And here's why this matters more than ever. You have new AI apps coming in at record speed and the number of users on these apps are also growing at an unprecedented rate. And the demand for high throughput, high quality infrastructure, reliability and minimal downtimes have never been higher. And this is why companies and the teams who are making these very products and apps will have the need to supercharge their entire tech stack that's used for observability and monitoring. For context, observability is simply monitoring all of the machine data, performance, health and how complex systems are performing in real time. So we asked Jitu Patel himself, the chief product officer and president at Cisco on why observability matters more than ever in today's AI age. Well, if you, one of the big kind of constraints of AI is a trust deficit. And if people don't trust the system, they're not going to use it. And you can't really trust something that you don't see. And so you have to have full visibility across the entire stack from the silicon to the agent to make sure that every layer of the stack, you've actually got observability and you know how the GPU is performing, you know how the models are performing, you know the data going into the models, you know what the tokenomics look like. And all of those things put together is what allows organizations to start reimagining and automating workflows. So to start with, Cisco firstly announced a new Cisco data fabric, which makes machine data AI ready. Simply put, you have terabytes of data generated by machines, uh, let's say temperature, the network speed, the data transfer, and all of the other machine states that give a good indication of the performance and health of the system. So what Cisco Data Fabric does is that it takes in all of the data and makes it ready for AI to generate valuable insights and unlock better decision-making opportunities for enterprise teams. The company also released AI Canvas in Splunk, which gives more like a chat GPT-like interface inside Splunk so that users can type in natural language prompts to detect various issues and observability logs inside their system. The more interesting part was that the moment you type in a natural language prompt seeking to understand the status of a system, it generates graphs and time series logs in a fly and that was quite interesting to see. And more interestingly, Cisco announced a foundational model for machine data. What it does is that it understands time series graphs and data the same way today's AI models understand language. And here's why Jitu Patel thinks this is the next big gold mine for Cisco and why a foundational time series model matters more than ever. It's no secret that data is the essential fuel that unlocks AI. Right? These models get trained with data, and over the course of the past 
three years, actually more than three years, six, seven years, the industry has done a pretty darn good job of training these models with human-generated data, whether it be text or images or video, to train these models. We've done a pretty good job with it. What we haven't done as good a job with is training it on machine-generated data. Metrics, events, logs, traces, other telemetry. We haven't been able to go out and train these models on it so that they can actually look at time series data. Imagine if you could organize this machine data to train these models so that they can generate the relevant insights that you're looking for. It's a massively untapped opportunity. Right? And so we believe that the world needs a machine data platform for the AI era. We also had a chance to ask Kamal Hathi on the entire pre-training process of this time series model and what data sets would use to train this model and eventually when it is going to be open source. Yes, this model is going to be open source and it's going to be available in November on Hugging Face. And how can enterprises take this open source model and fine tune it for various use cases? And here's what Kamal Hathi had to tell us. So, a couple of things. One is, you know, time series, uh, is, you know, especially for sort of foundational models and transformer models is not that common. And so what we started off with is a open source model that we took. And that was more uh, tuned towards sensors, sort of machine, you know, truly machine, not just application network kind of data. So that was the basis. And you know, we have, uh, we internally run a massive service uh, we have data that we uh, have, you know, in, 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 uh, scale that's required for this kind of training. So we use that to go and tune the uh, model that is based on more sort of sensor, more physical data, on application, on network, uh, on security kind of logs, and use that for the training process. And then the third thing is we also have, uh, you know, consent on certain types of data for the industry that we can use. So we've been using that. The last one of this public domain. So all these combinations so of various types of different types of data is what this foundational model represents. And its goal really, more than anything else, is to become the springboard for, as you said, proprietary data. Data is your mode for uh, enterprises, other companies to take and go and further refine, further tune. So we'll provide the same kind of tooling we use internally. We'll provide that to our customers. Uh, and we, we heard some talk today about this thing called AI Toolkit. And that will provide the basis for creating you know, the fine-tuned, highly uh, bespoke solutions for various companies and enterprises. It's, a, it's an internal process, but that process is also the basis for an external delivery of a full platform for, for the community. And other announcements include an agentic stack for observability, where you can deploy agents to autonomously monitor observability logs, grouped alerts, and monitor the health of the system, and also take actions autonomously. While Cisco doesn't remain alone in the space of observability, you have New Relic, Dynatrace, Datadog and so many other companies and it'll be interesting to see how these companies respond to Splunk's new offerings and more importantly, it's going to be super interesting to see how developers make use of the new offerings from Splunk and improve the observability systems inside their apps. The Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Supreet, for your in-depth report from Boston. Of course, I sure hope that you enjoy Boston as you were looking fresh and energetic. And here, of course, is our final take. This is agentic observability. Enterprises will start deploying agents to watch SLOs, chase down noisy neighbors, and auto-remediate before customers ever feel pain. The race now is who turns telemetry into closed loop action the fastest. The bottom line, Splunk plus Cisco just moved the conversation from better alerts to autonomous operations on machine data with humans firmly in the loop. If your SOC still looks like 2019, well then, this is a wake up call. Well, that brings us to the end of Front Page tonight on AIM Network, India's definitive media organization on everything AI and technology. 
Front page is powered by Cypher 2025. Yes, India's biggest AI summit and expo, which kicks off on the 17th of September right through till the 19th of September at KDPO Whitefield, Bengaluru. Please be there because you shall see the magic of AI unveil itself. Till we meet again on front page, this is Sudhi signing off. Thank you.